Hey guys, what's up? Dr. Gravity here. And today while taking a walk on the beach, I just decided to touch upon this interesting topic which is the multiverse, the existence of the multiverse which emerges from the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics or that observation that we have in the double slit experiment. So in the double slit experiment, we see that particles like electrons exhibit both wave and particle-like behavior. And you can call that the wave particle duality when unobserved these particles exhibit or create an interference pattern like waves and when observed they behave like particles and form distinct patterns so how do we go from the fundamental probabilistic quantum haze to the single definite reality that we all get to experience like the solidified experience fundamentally when you look at the universe things are inherently probabilistic Quantum mechanics is both probabilistic and non-deterministic. You can assign probabilities to things, but you can't know things for certain. And it is non-deterministic in the sense that you can't precisely know what is going to happen. So when you look at the big picture, what you understand from this is that, think of it this way, when particles behave in a different way, or when particles are in a quantum superposition of being in multiple states at once before the observation is made, that means they are in all different potential or possible states. And you can consider this to be alternate timelines in which the quantum superposition of a particle or a collection of particles represent the sequence of events that would happen in a different timeline or maybe the state of an electron that would be the case in one particular timeline. So if you think about yourself, if I'm sitting here as a classical object, right? This is what we see in the classical macroscopic world, in which through quantum decoherence, the fundamental probabilities of the quantum particles average out in the classical world, and then we have a deterministic world that you and I get to experience. If I am sitting here as a classical object, neither you nor I can see my potential quantum states. We just see me sitting here, right? If you ask the question of what a human being might be fundamentally made up of, you are nothing more than a collection of particles, which means ultimately there are electrons that make you up. So if you were to take an individual electron that is part of an ingredient that makes you up, that electron is also in a quantum superposition of multiple states at once or all possible states at once until the observer makes the observation or until the measurement is made or until there is an interaction. So that means if you look at yourself as a whole, you are nothing more than a collection of particles and that means the sum total of all the particles that make you up is also in a quantum superposition of being in multiple states or all possible states at once until the measurement or the observation is made. So that means you may not see it in this classical world unless you have the right device or the measuring tool or perform the right experiment to see the quantum superposition. So if you can be in a quantum superposition of multiple states at once, that means I am not just sitting in this position. I could also be sitting in a different position. I could be sitting here or I could be standing there. So that means I could be in a superposition of all the possible states, but we just don't see it. Just because of the way our perception works just because of the way the behavior of the classical systems work. So all the different possible states of myself that are doing different things at this very moment may not be visible to me and to you unless you and I are in the right controlled experimental conditions to know what truly is happening. So what that actually means as a conclusion is that all the possible states of my existence is already existing simultaneously right now at this very moment but we just don't see it so that means all the different versions of myself the one that maybe is clean shaved the one that has a green beard or the one that is sitting here or the one that's sitting there is existing simultaneously right now in different parallel realities or timelines they all exist right now we just don't see them that is what the double slit experiment shows us and that is what the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics explains to us and you know i just thought of touching upon this topic to make it easy for you guys to understand so i try to compress this very complex topic into something much easier which uh, you know would be understandable in layman's terms so 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos like such and I would do more interesting future explainers.